Welcome to the Transform Our World podcast with Ed Silvoso. Ecclesia everyone, every day, everywhere. It is fascinating to read the progress of the church in the book of Acts. I mean, it began in the gospel when they were closeted in a living room under probably double locks, afraid of what might happen to them. And then in Acts chapter 2 begins a progression that takes the church from a living room to every living room in Jerusalem, Judea, even Samaria, and it begins to set the stage for the end of the world. In my book, Ecclesia, I address the question, why is it that today we don't see the church growing as fast, as rapidly as it happened in the book of Acts? Well, what are the blessings we have today? Well, we have the Word. Do you realize they didn't have these when they were planting churches all over the world? I mean, in fact, this didn't happen until many, many years later. So we are very blessed to have what Peter calls in his epistles, the more sure Word. But the point I want to bring up to you today is, How did the early church grow so fast? Jesus gave us the answer. He says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. I want you to register that. He will come to us in the person of the Holy Spirit. And the mission of the Holy Spirit, according to what Jesus said in the Gospel of John, is to reveal what is to come and is to remind us of what Jesus taught us. And between the past, the reminders, and the future, the revelation, he is our helper. So folks, we need to rediscover the fullness of the Holy Spirit. So often, we have treated him like a fugitive. We need to pursue him. We need to catch up with him. We need to chase after him. And I am not criticizing those approaches because as long as you are after the right thing, God will honor it. But I want to bring home a truth that has changed my life. I want you to look at something here in the whiteboard. Paul is in Athens. It's a city that is played with shrines to every imaginable God, okay? And he's addressing not a convention of Sunday school teachers, he's addressing the top philosophers in the Greek culture. And he has to explain to them that he brings a God that is different than anything else. And how does he begin? Well, he affirms them. Hey, I see that you are very religious. You have a shrine for every god. And I even found a shrine to my god, to the unknown god. And now God, Paul goes from the known to the unknown. And he says, and this is in Acts 27, verse 27 forward, In him we live, we move in him. Our whole being is in Him. Now here I have personalized it by writing, we live in you, we move in you, our whole being is in you, because Paul is talking about the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And my friend, this is the fascinating truth, the most empowering truth, that the early church lived in, moved on, existed on, the Holy Spirit that fill every place, every circumstance, every room, so that he's not a bottle of water that we take a sip from when we are thirsty. He's an ocean, an ocean of fresh water, and in him we live, in him we move, in him we breathe, in him we exist. And by doing that, they never got out from the presence of the Holy Spirit. My friend, in addition to the more sure word that we have, the written word, we need to rediscover that dimension of the Holy Spirit. 
And this is the word picture that comes to me. When we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen, and our red cells carry that to our lungs, and there they trade the oxygen for the carbon dioxide that is uh, producing impurities in our muscles. Well, when we breathe in the Holy Spirit, He brings God's oxygen, and He trades that for every trace of the flesh, the world, even the devil, that may have influenced you and me. So, my friend, let's go back to Acts 17, and let's breathe in the Holy Spirit. We should do it right now. Take a deep breath. Now you are being filled with the Spirit, and as He comes in, remember, His name is Holy Spirit. He takes everything that is unholy in you and me, and He trades it for the holiness of God. That simple truth carried the church century after century, expanding, because the spirit of truth remind them of what Jesus taught them and revealed what was to come, and in the process, taught them and comforted them. So my friend, now be filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you for listening to today's edition of the Transform Our World podcast with Ed Silvoso. Ecclesia everyone, every day, everywhere. We invite you to make your own home in Ecclesia, a place where the presence and power of the Lord Jesus dwells every day. Then visit us at transformourworld.org or Ecclesia everywhere on Facebook to join a massive movement of believers who are changing our world for the better because it really is God's time for you, your family, your neighborhood, and nation.